the members of my class wish you a very auspicious morning to our honorable and dear sir respected teachers and my dear friends the topic of our annual function is government now please stand up and take your position put your right hand on your left shoulder and get ready for the pledge oh god oh god i offer you i offer you my studies my studies thoughts thoughts words words and actions of this day and actions of this day i like in my mind i like in my mind strengthen my memory strengthen my memory and guide me and guide me to do to do what's right what's right amen amen वक्रतुंड महाकाय सूर्यकोटि समप्रभा निर्विघ्न कुरम देव सर्वकारेशु सर्वदा लेट अस बिगिन दिस ग्लोरियस ओकेजन विद अ डिवोशनल फेवर बाय ऑफरिंग आवर प्रेयर्स टू लॉर्ड गणेशा थ्रू मूर्ति वंदना सो Now Nirvi is coming for Ganesh Vandana. Let's give a big round of applause. 
Good morning everyone. It's a pleasure to be here with all of you today. Sir, the students are really excited and curious to know to know more about government and they want to ask you few questions. Of course, I will be glad to answer. We are here to help you understand how our government works. It's like a big team that makes decisions for the community. But who decides who's on the team? Great question, child. We have elections where people vote for their leader. The candidate who secures the highest number of votes will be the representative of the community. Sir, please tell us what does this government do for us? Well, that's a good question, child. Government maintains law and order in society. It provides infrastructures like roads, hospitals and schools and do many things for the welfare of the people living in the country. Sir, can you explain what's your role in government? Well, I work with the city council to make decisions that our town runs smoothly. Sir, can you tell us what's your role? I am here to help and keep our city safe. I work with the police department to make sure that everyone follows the rules and stays out of trouble. How do you decide what's best for the city? Great question. We hold meetings where citizens can share their ideas and concerns. Then we make decisions that benefit everyone. Sir, what is the most challenging part of being a mayor? The most challenging part is making decisions that benefit everyone. We have to consider various opinions and concerns. What are you doing when someone breaks a rule? Well, we talk to them and try to help them understand why it is important to follow rules. Sometimes if they keep breaking the rules, they might have to face consequences. But we always try to help first. Sir, what advice do you have for someone interested in a career in a law enforcement? Study hard, stay out of trouble and focus on helping others. Integrity, dedication and compassion are essential qualities for a career in a law enforcement. Thank you all for your wonderful questions. Remember, you can make a big difference in your community to even our students. That's right. Being kind to others, helping your classmates and respecting rules are all the different ways through which you can make our city a better place. Sir, thank you so much for taking the time to visit our school and explain how the government operates. It was my pleasure. I am thrilled to see young minds interested in understanding how their city functions. And sir, your insights into law enforcement and community safety were really enlightening. Thank you. It's crucial for everyone to grasp the role of law enforcement in our society. We appreciate both of you sharing your knowledge with us. It means a lot to have your support and guidance. You are very welcome, students. Remember, you are the future leaders of our community. Scene 2. Discussions in Classroom Now, what if we don't agree with the decision of the government? Another, ex another excellent question, Nitika. In a fair government, there are ways for people to voice their opinions, like community meetings and feedback sessions. And be a great leader and make sure we have ice cream every day. That sounds delicious, Naveed. But government leaders have more responsibilities, like making laws and decisions for the whole community. And are they like superheroes? In a way, yes. They work hard to make sure everything runs smoothly. Scene 3. Exploring the three branches. The students pretend to be explorers, discovering the three different areas, executive, legislative and judicial. And here executive branch. They are like the boss. They make big decisions for the country. Over there, that's the legislative branch. They are the ones who make the rules, like what we learn. And here is the judiciary branch. They make sure everyone follows the rule fairly. Scene 4. The importance of government. I get it now. The government is like a big team. All working together to help everyone. That's right, Navreet. They are here to make our lives better and keep our country running smoothly. See class, our government is all about working together and making distance for the greater good.
So today we have learned that government is like a big team that works together and everyone has a role to play. It's about making choices that benefit everyone. Thank you. Every discussion is based on facts. So our class friends are coming for group discussion. So enjoy the conversation. You must have heard the word government mentioned several times in discussion. You will learn about what a government is and the important role it plays in our lives. What a government do, how they decide what to do and what is difference between different type of government such as monarchies and democracies. Every country needs a government. Every country needs a government to make decisions and get things done. These can be decisions about where to build roads and school or ways to increase the supply of electricity. The government also takes action on many social issues. For example, it has several programs to help the poor. It does other important things such as running postal and railway services. The government also has the job of protecting the boundaries of the country and relation with other countries. It is responsible for ensuring that all its citizens have enough to eat and have good health facilities. When there are the natural disasters like the tsunami or the earthquake, it is the government that may need to organize the aid and assistance for the people. If there is the dispute, if someone has a crime, you find people of court, courts are also part of the government. Perhaps you are wondering how government managed to do all this and why it is necessary for them to do so. When human beings live and work together, there need to be some amount of organization so that decision can be made. Some rules have to be made that apply for everyone. For example, there is a need to control the resources and protect the territory of a country so people can feel secure. Governments do this on behalf of their people by exercising leadership, taking decisions and implementing these among for all the people living in their territory. Now you know that the government is responsible for so many different things. Can you think? How it manages to do all this? The government works at different level. At the local level, at the level of state, at the national level. The local level means in your village, town, locality. The state level would mean that which covers entire state like Haryana or Assam and the national level relates to the entire now the three organs of the government are the legislature. This organ is concerned with making laws or amending laws. The executive. The executive implements the laws framed by the legislature. The judiciary. This organ is responsible for overlooking the fair and just functioning the laws. Who gives the government this power to make decisions and enforce laws? The answer to this question depends on the type of the government. There is no country. Types of government. In a democracy, it is the people who give the government this power. They do this through elections in which they vote for particular persons and elect them. Second form of government is monarchy. The monarchy has the power to make decisions and run the government. Unlike in democracy, king and queen do not have to explain their actions or defend the decisions they take. Third form of government is dictatorship. Dictatorship is a form of government in which person or a small group rule with almost unlimited power. The ruler of di dictatorship is called a dictator. India is a democracy. This achievement is a result of long and eventful struggle by Indian people. There are many other places in the world where people have also struggled to have democracies. You know now that the main feature of democracy is that the people have the power to elect their leaders. So in a sense, democracy is ruled by the people. The basic idea is that people rule themselves by participating in the making of these rulers. Democratic governments in our times are usually referred to as representative democracies. In representative democracies, people do not participate directly but instead choose their representatives through an election process. These representatives meet and make decisions for the entire population. These days a government cannot call itself democratic unless it allows what is known as universal adult franchise. This means that 
all the adults in a country are allowed to go. But it was not always like this. Can you believe that there was a time when government did not allow women and the poor to participate in elections. In their earliest forms, government allowed only men who owned property and were educated to vote. This means that the women, the poor, the property less and uneducated were not allowed to vote. The country was governed by rules and regulations for these few men made. In conclusion, in, in India before independence, only a small minority was allowed to vote and they therefore came together to determine the fate of the majority. Several people including Gandhiji were shocked at the unfairness of this practice and demanded all adults have to right to vote. This is known as universal adult franchise. Thank you. Thank you. समुद्रा से ज्यादा गहराई यदि कहीं और है तो वो बस सुरों के भी तो वो बस सुरों के भी तरह क्योंकि संगीत मन शरीर और आत्मा को मिलाकर शांति प्रदान करता है प्रस्तुत है हिंदी गीत Take it up. 
को आत्मनिर्भर प्रगतिशील भारत प्रसिद्ध है हिंदी कविता सरकार की कहानी राष्ट्र की शान जनता के सेवक बनकर बढ़ाते हैं मान नीतियों की बुनियाद रखती है सरकार न्याय की धारा है उसका आधार जनता की सुरक्षा सरकार का प्रमुख काम विकास के पथ पर करती है देश का नाम शिक्षा के उड़ान सरकार के संग ज्ञान के पर्वत पार कर मेहनत लाती है रंग स्वास्थ्य की रक्षा सरकार का उद्देश्य है जनता के लिए बनी हर योजना बनाती है उज्जवल भविष्य रोजगार का क्रम देती है यह सरकार रोजगारों को मिलता है उत्तम शिक्षा का अधिकार समाज की समृद्धि है सरकार का मकसद विभिन्न वर्गो की सुनती है बातें हर समय हर जनता की भलाई हर कदम पर जय सरकार का क्रम बनता है हर मैदान फतेह हर मैदान फतेह हर मैदान फतेह धन्यवाद म्यूजिक गेव सोल टू द यूनिवर्स विंग्स टू द माइंड फ्लाई टू द इमेजिनेशन एंड लाइफ इज एवरीथिंग सो नाउ फानिश इज कमिंग फॉर इंस्ट्रूमेंटल परफॉर्मेंस
Get out.